Hey guys, this is Tony Solo for the Natural Lifestyles, and I'm here in Budapest. What I want to talk to you guys about today is the truths about day game versus night game. Excuse me. Oh my God, my God. Oh, oh God. Yes, yes. A pretty girl. My God. I want. That. I didn't mean to scare you. Okay. Yes, you did. Were you thinking about something very deeply? Yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah. Yes, I broke you out of your thoughts so you can yeah. meet me. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. Hi. See, hi. hi. Are you German? Yeah. Yes. Are you German? Yes. Oh, man. Okay. I, th I thought you were Hungarian. No. no, no. <laughs> not really? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> you're shocked. You're, sh really? you're shocked that a man like you? No, not that. It is, but it's like I'm, I'm just going on the road, you know, and then. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's okay, the country um, code? Give me. The thing I love about day game is when you're out during the day, you're able to see a woman in her most vulnerable state. Because sometimes when a girl goes out at night, you're right, she does go into an altered state. She is a little bit more open. She doesn't have to worry about the issues that she has in her life. Her fears are being suppressed. So she seems much more different um, than she does, uh, than she would in a day. So, the truth about day. When I'm out during the day and I'm speaking to women, I notice that there are a lot of quality women out during the day that you'll never see at night. You just will never see quality women in the day, certain quality women in the day who go out, go out at night because they are probably reading, they're probably doing yoga, uh, they're probably doing work and the work takes up their whole day and then they relax. And these are the things that I truly love about day game. And the things I also love about day game is that you're able to go out during the day and cr create romantic stories that girls really, really enjoy and what a lot of times what they see in the books. So something that day has overnight is definitely that the romantic fantasies. Romantic fantasies are uh, the things that women truly enjoy. That's the reason why there's so many money, so much money put into books each year with women because they just want these fantasies lived out. And a lot of times, some girls will never get those fantasies lived out ever, and they truly want it. So you're really truly hitting a, a particular part of a woman that may, she may never uh, be uh, accustomed to, she may never ever have a chance to experience. So that's what I also love about day. Another truth about day is that during the day, it's easier to be able to talk to girls. That's what I noticed. During the day, talking to girls is way easier than talking to girls at night. You don't have to deal with as much shit. Uh, you can see the girl sometimes just alone. She's not around a group of girls where they're trying to pull her away. That's another truth that I love about day, is that yeah, you don't have to deal with as much shit. So it is easier. And I find that you can do things like take girls on instant dates. You can uh, see what a girl is truly like and that's what i love like i said before but let's talk about night married me you would have came over there with me he would have came with me you would have married me you would have well and your eyelashes are so big they're fake they're fake yes. eyelashes i love you at night you're able to see a girl more open you're able to see her when she's not going through all her stresses of the day. At night, you can be able to have fun with girls more. At night, you can be able to uh, really be in the presence of women that you won't see during the day. Because at night, in the same way in day, you're, there's certain women you won't have access to because they don't go out at night. It's the other way around too. There's certain women who are out at night who you don't have access to in the day. You don't. They're just doing too many things. So, when I'm out at night, I understand that there are gonna be girls, you know, drunk and shit. There's gonna be girls, you know, saying obnoxious things at times. But I, what I also understand is that in that environment, I can also find a quality girl. And many men are saying to themselves, I cannot find a quality girl at night. That is a lie, man, it's a lie. You have to look at what's going on inside of you when you say that. It's a lot of times it's an avoidance. A lot of times it's a fear. It's a fear of, um, I don't want to go out at night and have to deal with all the shit that comes up. I don't want to go out at night and have to deal with girls um, being bitchy, girls you know, pulling their friend away from me. I don't want to have to deal with any of that because I just don't want all the challenges of it. 
And once you become accustomed to only getting girls through routes that are easy, you'll just be getting used to that. So the reason why I go out day and night is because in those two environments, I can find quality women. I find quality women in a day where they are really, really just in the most vulnerable state. We can have a romantic adventure. But when I'm out at night, I can find girls in another state that's, that they're also adventurous in. And that state is them being able to let go. Um, a lot of times, many girls, they can't let go because during the day, they have so many things that's keeping them back from doing it. It's the, just the, uh, the beliefs that are around them, the closure that they have to deal with all day, the uh, having to deal with their sexuality and, and the suppressing of it. And then at night, what I truly really love is that they can just let all that shit go and really open in their sexuality. So I find all these truths uh, for day and night to be beautiful because both environments you can find quality women. Both environments you can have a great time. In both environments you can change, but to be honest with you, I would say the environment you're gonna change the most in is at night. And the reason why is because you deal with more shit. When you're out at night, you have to deal with more things, so that just make your character rise, that make you have a boost in your confidence, that make you have a boost in the amount of shit you can handle. So that means that gives you resilience. And anything that gives you resilience is gonna be the thing that's going to be the most uh, beneficial for you in your character. So, when I'm out at day, yes, I grow sometimes, you know, with things, you know, with girls, you know, them having closure and them being, you know, weird and me opening them up. But at night, I definitely grow because I have to focus on things like how to talk to the groups, how to uh, talk to groups with guys and girls, how to, how to be able to handle confrontation with guys who become very, very uh, aggressive. Um, I handle things like when a girl doesn't want to come home with me and being able to bypass her belief system of uh, it's okay. There's all these things I have to deal with and I could just name more and more and more at night that makes it very, very beneficial for me and my character. So I want you to start making a clear cut um, distinguishing between what you know, environment do you truly want to uh, find women in? Because I hope you understand from this talk that I'm doing that women can be found in any environment that you want. The truths that I'm telling you right now are some things you probably don't want to hear. But this is a truth that you must hear. And that truth is, if you're walking around believing that you can only find women at night for you, you're lying. Because women in day uh, offer you just as much as women at night. If you're walking around saying to yourself, I can't find quality women at night, you're lying. Because you just are afraid and you're afraid of the things you have to deal with at night. And those are the things that's going to be able to make you the strongest. But you're saying to yourself, um, I don't want to have to deal with the alcohol and girls being stupid and drunk. Do you understand that that same girl you're saying that's stupid and drunk is probably the same girl you're going to go talk to the next day. It's not like the girls in the day that you talk to are just like these amazing women then they go out at night and they become stupid. That's not the truth. It's not like girls out at night, they're like these really, really, you know, uh, amazing women and then during the day they're stupid. There's no way to that, it's not. Just understand it's all you. That's what it is, it's really you. It's you and your beliefs. Your beliefs create your reality. So if you have the belief that I can only find quality women during the day, then that will show out to you. If you have beliefs that I can only find quality women at night, that would also show out to you. So my challenge to you is, go out there and begin to meet women at night and meet women during the day. And when you go out at night, let go of your beliefs about women. When you go out, at, when you go out during the day, let go of your beliefs about women. And what do I mean by let go of your beliefs? Let go of your belief that I can only find a woman in this environment. I can only find a woman in this environment. Because the truth is, both environments offer you women of quality, they do. Because every guy who comes into seduction, you either want one or two things. You want to start fucking women or you want to start getting women into your life who are of quality. That's actually the only two things that you want, honestly. Let's be honest, that's the only thing you really want. So. A lot of times when you start out, you're like, you know what, I just want to go out and start fucking women. Do you think that from that place, you're going to go out on the streets and right away, uh, the girls you meet, they're going to just be like, um, I am of quality and um, I don't want to have sex with you. No, it's not going to be like that. Most of the girls you meet out in the world, honestly, most of the girls you meet, 
won't be of high quality. They just won't. A lot of girls you meet are gonna be just normal girls who are pretty and who have a normal life and who are unconscious because most people are unconscious. So, uh, when you're going out there and, you, and you're meeting girls, uh, please make sure that you are seeing women for who they are. Whether it be day or night, be willing to let go of your belief that this environment or that environment will bring me what I want because any environment will bring you what you want. And when you go out there with that belief that any environment will bring me what I want, your whole shifts around uh, what women you can find in day or night begin to shift. So, I just cranked this video out and this is something that you know I just did on the spot. And I hope you guys can really see that I'm passionate about this and telling you this because I go out day and night, I do. And then going out day and night, I'm so tired of hearing guys say, this environment and that environment brings you the women you want, when I know that both, envi both environments bring you what you want. So this is Tony Solo for The Natural Lifestyle. Just bring you the truth like I always do. Until next time, subscribe below, and I love you, man. Peace.